Joining us now, ladies and gentlemen, he's a man who put his dragon underwear on mm -hmm. and said, this is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to rain and repeat. We're going to rain what? and repeat. What? We're going to beat people by more points than any team in the history of March Madness while being the reigning national champions. With the bullseye on our back, as the team that's at the top of the mountain, we're going to beat people worse than any team has ever beat a slew of teams mm -hmm. in the past. Ladies and gentlemen, the head coach of the UConn Huskies, back-to-back -back national champions, Dan Hurley. Yeah. Two of them. No one could slay. No one could slay the dragons. <laughs> how are the dragons? You know, how no, are the dragons? No how are the dragon underwear? Are they good? They hold up tight. They have any holes in them? What do we got going on? <laughs> no, they're uh, yeah, they're, they're uh, yeah, they're, they're wet right now. They're uh, <laughs> they're in a they're, they're in a separate bag. They have their own luggage. Uh, they uh, they they're, it's a very secure. Uh, l luggage that they are in here. Uh, it's a casing. It's just one of those like really expensive steel <laughs> luggage containers. Yeah, it's smart. I mean, those to things. Need to, hey, we need to put those in a vault too for another mm -hmm. year or so because what they do <laughs> in March Madness is phenomenal. Have you seen all the stats about your team yet, or are you just taking it all in? Have you looked back on how historically dominant this run has been, or are you still living in the moment right now, Coach? I, mean, I don't want to sound obnoxious, but like last year, you know, what we did last year was kind of similar. So like a lot of those numbers you have an awareness of, but I mean, it's just uh, no, no team's ever done what we've done you know, these last two years, man. And, and to do it against that Purdue team last night, you know, with that giant and uh, it's just it's crazy, man. Okay, so congrats. We, we watched your post-game presser, and you said, hey, if Edie puts up 25, 30 shots, he gets 30, 40, 50 points, whatever it is, he's going to do that. The rest of the guys couldn't score 18 points or 20 points. You got, is that your strategy going in? Was that legitimately what we told the boys when we were working on all week? Like, hey, big guy can do whatever the hell he wants. The rest of the team can't do anything. And is that what it is every single game for you? It's something like that. Yeah, I mean, you know what's weird is uh, you know, normally the uh, the mindset you know going against your opponent is to try to take out the other team's best player uh, or their two best players. Like that's normally what we do: try to eliminate, you know, cut off the head of the snake. But just you know, we're in the games that they've had a difficult time in, uh, you know, the supporting cast, the supporting cast didn't didn't, didn't perform well for them. So. Um, you know, we, we wanted to really you know, allow him to just kind of allow Edie to just kind of play one on one, um, and then blanket the three point line and and then lock up their other perimeter people. And um, you know, no matter how many tough twos he made in the paint, um, without getting any help from the others, he wasn't going to be able to score enough points to beat us. Yeah, well, I mean. Just getting a chance to hear kind of your genie, you know, and you wear dragon underwear and you're on the ref's ass. Oh, yeah. I mean, you are on the ref's oh, yeah. ass. Awesome. Hey, they, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you saw the internet. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I was on their ass. I was on their ass, man. But, um, you know, the dude's, I mean, he's a giant, man. He's a Game of Thrones giant out there. And, and it's like there's this you know, three seconds rule that they seem to – you know, ignore a lot with him, and then <laughs> you know, yeah, and then you know, yeah, he's very physical, mm -hmm. and then you know they call him touch foul. So it, it brought me back to the uh, Big East tournament MSG. You know, I was out of my mind during that game. There was a there was a, a short guy with a red blazer that I was that I was sparring with during the game, and <laughs> I was on a twelve. I was on a twelve last night, uh, and I was at a twelve at MSG. Uh, I was a wild man last night, a full admission. Yeah, well, hey, listen, the, the world loved it. The internet certainly responded, and your team did as well. What was the – if you were on a 12 during the game on that ref, what were you afterwards yeah. in the locker room? We saw you come in, stone cold and some bottles what? of water. <laughs> What's the jubilation like in there afterwards? And uh, what was the message to the boys after you conquer the rain and repeat motto once again? Yeah, we, we did we did our deal. Um 
you know, we, we did our deal. That That's like the the moment, the private moment with the boys where, where it's just you know, all the hard work, man, all the sacrifice, how hard we've been pushing since June, uh, you know, to get to that point, to experience that, that, that moment that few people get to experience, uh, uh, you know, so just enjoy the moment and then tell these guys, you know, last year, the guys went on like a 10 day rampage, uh, you know, in and around campus, like enjoying, you know, like, hey guys, let's try to keep it seven to eight days this time. Cause la after you win the championship, Pat, you lose total control of the program. <laughs> These dudes are about to go on a tear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, that's what you, that's why you lift all them weights. Yep. That's why you run all them sprints for this moment right here. And I'm not saying nothing. Uh, you know, uh, these guys have earned it. Um, they put in all the work, and now they'll enjoy the fruits of their labor. <laughs> hey, who's the little man right there over your right shoulder? That's Luke. Mar that's uh, that's Luke Murray's uh, youngest cash. What up, cash? Cash money. Cash, like cash money right there. Had a baby cash. Got my wife, my wife Andrea, right there. She don't want. It. She's Andrew, forty-three and zero. Hey, that a baby. Congrats, bro. Sick oh, glasses, too. He's oh. already hung over. Clean Kong. Clean Kong. Yeah! 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 Hey, way to go, Clean Kong. Oh. Hey, hey, you locked down. Eat a little bit. Great verticality last hey, night. Hey, way to go. Way to go, Clean Kong. Hey, hey, baby, hey, baby. Hey, what a night. Dee Butler. What's happening, baby? You call. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Dee Butler, let's go. Let's go, coach. <laughs> appreciate you, man. Hey, appreciate your wife, too. Keep your ass in you, I Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Don't even think about it. <laughs> no, I, I gotta no. ask. I gotta ask you something, though, Coach. Uh, the, the championship pedigree in your family. I just read a tweet from my guy uh, Cuffs, the legend, said you, your pops had 26 high school championships. Obviously, your brother Bob back to back at Duke, and now you back to back at UConn. I just want to know, obviously, that about that pedigree in the family, and then where do all these trophies live now that we're going <laughs> back to back? Yeah, we got a um, we got like a storage unit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got a storage unit. Oh, how about Killer Cam Spencer? Hey! Yeah. Congrats, Cam. buddy. Killer Cam. Congrats, Cam. Take it easy on yourself Killer. the next few days. Let's go, man. <laughs> he curses a lot. Um, <laughs> it's good. You like that. He, yeah, you know what, man? It's like, uh, you know, my dad is, is just, uh, you know, he's a legendary coach. He's one of the best pure coaches. And, and you know, he taught me just, everything about the game i mean it's been like living a, a coaching clinic your whole life man you just you've been around it forever everything is so second nature uh you know with just how to handle a team the tactics the psychology the motivation all those things and i just think most importantly when, when you grow up in the, in the hurley family with with, uh, with 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 bob and my dad man you just learn you learn how to work you learn how to strive uh you, know, you just you learn how to push yourself Hey, Coach, he... he uh, uh, Ale Alexander the Great right what there. What up, Alex? Yeah. The Great, yeah, hell the yeah. Caravan, Caravan, the Caravan, Caravan, yes. Hey, let's make sure we're getting all the branding nicknames right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And I am, and I am, and I am. We were, I got to watch it live, the post game, as the game ended, and then I watched the whole game back on the plane last night because I was at Raw after Mania. But it felt like as you're getting interviewed by CBS, I can't hear a word you're saying right now, but like... I dropped my shit, but the uh, as I was celebrating <laughs> Alexander the damn great. The, um, so as we were watching live, it felt like there was a question, you know, about like you and your future, and then they cut it off. I think because they had a hard out time and a game model, and it sounded like you were saying oh, we're already focusing on a three peat. Like you were about to give that answer, but it kind of got cut off. And then obviously you're asked about Kentucky immediately afterwards. The entire internet goes bananas. Did you know it was going to be that loud whenever you find out that Calipari is leaving? And, like, is that what you were about to say before you got cut off? It's like, yeah, this is fun, but three in a row is much cooler. Because mm -hmm. that's like what Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey did yeah. immediately upon winning back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, uh, um, you know, the, the positive thing for me is, like, uh, my phone broke on uh, what they said. My phone broke on Saturday, so I, I couldn't receive any incoming calls oh. or, or text messages or outgoing. So I had no idea that like any of that stuff was going on. Um, and uh, you know, and then and then I got those questions after the game that you're not prepared for, and that your agent doesn't want you to answer. <laughs> you know, he, he just wants you to say nothing. Uh, so. 
uh, it's it, just keeping it real. But yeah, I mean, we're not. I mean, UConn right now, our mindset, uh, literally, once we got on that team bus, I think I turned around and said, like, you know, where, where's the East Regional next year? All right, uh, first two rounds were in Providence, mm -hmm. and then the Sweet 16 Elite Eight are in Newark, New Jersey. You know mm -hmm. where I, you know, where I lived and worked for nine years, and then the Final Four is in San Antonio. So, yeah, I mean, my, your, your mindset. We're going to enjoy this, you know, for a couple of days, Pat. But like, it's going to fade quickly, uh, and and then uh, you're going to get back to work, and you're going to put a roster together that you know can hopefully go for a dynasty. I don't want to speak for your agent, but all these UConn alum, you know, Darius included. Yeah, yeah. amen. Molly, mm -hmm. Diana Taurasi, yeah, right. everybody that's been on, might need to, you know, a little bit of a bonus. Mm -hmm. right. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't want to go to Kentucky, dude. No. Yeah, right. no. Can't, can't lose that. Can't National championship coach in the middle of this dynastic run. Yeah. No way. We saw what Sarkeesian did when uh, Saban left Bama. He got a bit of a pay raise, didn't Oh, he? yeah. Hey, look oh. around. <laughs> looky, looky. That's funny. You guys got a Jimmy Sexton in uh, college <laughs> yeah. basketball? He's probably already working Figured on out, that. Dave. Tone's got a question for you, coach. Yeah, I do. You just talked about uh, team building and the next year's team kind of do you and i asked Saban the same thing when he was on the show this year how do you go about now that the season's over the after season meetings are, and how how do you go about kids who are thinking about whether they should stay or go to the nba yeah i mean we're, we're gonna you know I, you know i think it's pretty clear with uh you know with, with donovan just um you know where, where his stock is at and, and, and steph castle and you know we'll we'll, uh, we'll make some calls um, you know, with, with like like real high end front office people to get a, a real accurate uh, assessment of where they're at. Um, you know, and I, so so we'll, we'll figure that out. And I think it's important, like you know, the the other players in your program that are, you know, they got to make a decision whether they go in the portal or not. Like, just have completely honest conversations with you know with everyone, um, you know, based on where you think they're at. And um, you know, those are meetings that probably. You start on, on Wednesday, Thursday, and, you know, we'll probably be doing, you know, recruiting visits, you know, by the end of the week. Uh, you know, we'll have turned the page and try to try to put another roster together that can, can do it again. I bet those uh, recruiting visits are a little bit different now sure. than they were a few years mm -hmm. back. You know, the, the proof is in the pudding, if you will. And I think you said something about we have NBA guys – that just like kind of buy in. I don't know how you exactly described it. What do you? What will you say about this roster? This group of dudes that you just had have the most dominant run in the history of March Madness. If you had to describe that that roster, how would you say? It? Yeah, I mean NBA NBA level players from lottery pick level to maybe guys that'll sign two way contracts that'll play. You know, maybe they'll they'll scratch and claw their way to a twelve. 12 to 15 year NBA career, um, you know, the, the roster is littered with, with players and everyone in between, uh, you know, and you don't have to be a selfish ass uh, player, um, you know, like you could go to college, um, you could win big, you know, you, you could, you could sacrifice, uh, go for championships, you know, and, and still be lottery pick, you know, uh, you know, our, our uh, fourth and fifth leading scorers on this year's team are going to be are going to be lottery picks, uh, but they're also going to be national champs, Big East champs. Uh, so you you could still do both in this game. It's a it's a misnomer, man. That like uh, that 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 the sport is ruined and and that there's not still a bunch of talented NBA level people out there that still value winning, man. There's still people like that out there, and we're going to try to get all of them. Hey, we're happy to hear that. You know, that's good news about the future. Yeah, Not fast. just of college basketball, but of like in general. Hey, that's good news. Hell yeah. Coach, that's Great good news dude. about the world. You know, the world. That's good news about the world there, Coach. <laughs> coach, will you, um, what do you celebrate with? How do you celebrate one of those natties? What do you, what did you end up? Do you eat something? Do you, do you drink something? Do you smoke something? You smoke a weed, Coach? What do you, uh, <laughs> what are you doing yeah, to celebrate? You know I had the, uh, I had some tequila, a little splash of ginger ale. Right. Right. Wait, wait, and then, and then we had some, uh, we we had a nice bottle of champagne too. That was uh, somebody put it on ice before we went to the uh, stadium, so somebody knew. Yeah. Well, so we popped, yeah, we popped the champagne. We had some tequila.
thought that was appropriate. Well, congratulations. I hope you enjoy more of that. Big shout out to your wife getting those dragons clean. Every single game. Shout, they shouted you out about the dragons. Do you want to go on? No, I can't. Andrew, she come on. What's about, the deal? I thought we were friends. Can I just? Yeah. Great yeah. work. Great work. Great work. You're national champ. Back to back national champion right there. Woo. Back to back, 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 back national back champ. Back to back. Put up two. Lewis and blood. Two, two, two. All right. Hey, Kentucky's got warm weather. All right. I'm not, I'm not saying that. No, that. I'm not saying any of that. You're the man. We appreciate you so much, Coach. Later, brother. Appreciate you guys. You are the best. Hey, rain. Peace. And repeat. Repeat. Oh. And now we got to think of what the next one is. Rain, repeat, rinse, uh, rinse, repeat, rain. Yep. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Yeah, matter. matter. Yeah. matter. Already rained and repeated. You're the man, ladies and gentlemen, Coach Dan Hurley. Yeah. Oh.